Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Dwarf Fortress. Playing in the Fortress of Idenerol. And I just saw an announcement. Type of man has become a mason. Good job. It's impressive. You you impress me. And Nipple Bottoms made a masterpiece. <laughs> it's wonderful. Good good job, Nipple Bottoms. I love it. Now we have a horse indoors, which that is not very smart. He's gonna starve. He's a grazer, which means he needs to eat. And I haven't pastured him outside, so he's just come to the meeting area. He'll foolishly starve to death. Um, interestingly, we have a horse that is pastured over here. So let's just go to this pasture. And I'm going to go to Grazers. I don't know where we... Oh, someone must have brought that horse with him. So somebody needs to get to work and drag that dumb horse out there. And now we're going to... Create a zone, and we'll create. None of these other rooms are fully complete, so one zone's fine. We make that a pen or pasture, and let's just put all the damn birds in here. I'm gonna put. Um, I'm gonna press P for currently pastured to remove them, and now we can just see the ones that are not not currently pastured. So we'll cycle through this list. I'm gonna move all the damn birds up here. Every kind of bird. I don't care what kind of bird you are. If you're a bird, you're going in here. Cats and dogs can wander around, that's fine. Okay, that'll give the dwarf something to do. Drag the damn birds up there. We need to get the birds laying eggs, because we are getting low on food. We only have 15 drinks. The bookkeeper's doing his job, because you can now we can count past 10. That's, that's good. Um, I suppose it's probably a good idea to start collecting some plants. So let's press D and then uh, P for plants. Let's gather some plants from out here. And let's check Dwarf Therapist to see how many actual plant gatherers we have. We have two. Infernal Dalek is going to go and gather some plants for us. No, he's a processor. I'm sorry, we only have one plant gatherer. That is type of man. Pretty good herbalist. He's dabbling so far, so he's going to mess up a lot, but that's okay. We need him to gather some plants for us. And let's check this one. So this is holding food, cloth, leather, wood. Not wood. And I'm going to build some extra workshops up here. We'll build some mason's workshops. These are temporary. But we need them to create the next layer of bedrooms for the upcoming dwarves. We're out of logs. So let's DT for dig trees. Or designate trees, not dig them, but DT. And hopefully someone will get out there and start chopping some more trees down for us. You have six idlers. I, I don't like that. Is it because of the hauling? No, nope. hauling is enabled. So we can sort by current job, find the dwarves that have no job, and see like what they're set to and why they're not working. So we got some stone detailers. I don't really want to do any stone detailing yet, because it's not that important quite yet. I have no shearing and spinning to be done. I think I'm gonna take these dwarves, I'm gonna go to the roll tab, and just, I'm gonna give them some extra work. We'll go ahead and let you be a miner again. I don't think we have a pick for him, but... So there's that. Who else? I don't, you don't want to send out a ton of people to plant gather, because they, they have a very high chance of damaging the plant if they're not good at it. So if you just if you're desperate for food, don't have everyone gather plants because they're just gonna destroy all of the potential plants that can be gathered and not actually give you anything. You just want one or two people doing it. But something we could do is we could get, get butchery going, so let's start up that whole industry. I'm gonna put the butcher's workshop outside for now until we can create a safe place for it. So build workshop. And I think it's you for butcher. Yeah we'll do the butcher's workshop over here. We're going to need an N for Tanner, and what else do I want? I'll probably do it for now. Uh, let's do a Leatherworks. Part of the problem with building stuff outside is that dwarves don't like to be outside. They don't like sun. Some dwarves will get really upset by it. But in the very beginning, the game is not dangerous, so you can, you can safely do stuff outside until you can get all all the land and everything dug out. 
Okay, so we got the ghost rooms. Let's build a couple more mason's workshops. I'm gonna go heavy on mason workshops for now because it doesn't matter. We can always de you can always deconstruct them. In fact, let's um, let's take those dwarves with no jobs and just let them. They can just go and make some shitty tables. It's fine. You can press UM to check on the status of your orders. So we've got nine of the beds still need to be made, 24 coffers, cabinet stores. I really need them to, to really get to work on that. Cancels beds, needs logs. Yep, I expected that. Okay. So let's go ahead and, uh, oh, did I build a still? I built a still instead of a leather workshop. Build workshop E. It's leather works. There we go. Still's good though, too. We do have some plants. Let's go to stocks, plants. We can see that we've got some plump helmets. And I think if we go to the kitchen, plump helmets. I've only I'm not letting them cook with plump helmets. I'm only having them brew. So let's go ahead and brew drink. I'm going to put brew drink on repeat. Which means that they should take the plump helmets and brew them. In fact, let's even put it over here. PX Build Workshop L. Still. Build the still right next to the rest of the food. But in the meantime, we'll let them we'll do it over here. Now I do want to butcher that that one animal that we don't need. So let's go to our animals. I'm gonna sort by gender. Or sex I guess they call it. And we got males and actually no let's sort by cast. That'll sort by the different various animal types. So notice that we only have one yak bull and it's a male. So we can't milk it. So this is the one that I want to kill. So there's a button right here, butcher. I can click that and then click commit, which flags him for butchering. Um, the other way to do it would be to go and do it from in here. We can go Z, animals, and then find him in here. And it's the same thing, ready for slaughter. But I like to do it from dwarf fortress, dwarf therapist. I think it's easier. We also need to build some nest boxes for all of our birds. So let's see, these ones will queue up some nest boxes. Can we do rock nest box? That's a craft dwarfs thing, that's right. There's so many things that we need. Oh dear. There goes the yak bull, he's been slaughtered. So the dwarf brings him over to the butcher's workshop and just chops his head off, and all of his stuff ends up in the, the workshop. Notice in the top right corner you can see all of that stuff. It's That TSK means that there's a task. Somebody's moving it. We've got some yak bull horns, yak meat, skin, skull, brain, nervous tissue, hair, kidney, spleen. Apparently there's sweet bread in a yak. Which is just a, you know, there's just various types of food. And somehow the food's already instantly prepared. Prepared yak lung, heart, intestines. And cartilage. How lovely. Let's make some fancy food out of that. Fancy feast! That automatically queues up a tanner hide job in the tanner's workshop. That's automated, which is nice. It's all that the tanner's workshop's really good for. Now, as long as that stuff gets into a food stockpile, it should not rot. But it would be better if we could put it into some barrels. So I do want to try to make more barrels. So I think now would probably be a good, dive, a good time to dive into the workflow interface. We talked about this briefly at the very beginning of the series, and workflow is a, an, an it's an add-on that kind of automates a lot of the mundane stuff in a fortress. Instead of having to like manually pay attention to how many barrels you have and do I need more barrels or not, you can just set parameters that you want to keep within. So if we go ahead and go to the work Carpenter's Workshop, go to Add, and we'll go to V for Barrel, and then if I want to go into the Workflow Interface, I think it was Control W? Control, what was it? I don't remember. Damn, I can't remember. <laughs> what is the darn button? <laughs> oh, crap. 
workflow. Plugin is not enabled. Workflow, enable. Okay, so this is the way, the way you used to have to do it was through DF hack. You'd have to actually manage it from here. But um, I'm wondering if it'll list the shortcut for me. I don't like managing it from here. I like the graphic interface. I just can't remember how you pull it up. All right, let's do it this way. DF hack. DF hack in it. Stocks show, resume show. Control V designates digging. Just to find workflow. Workflow front end, key binding Alt W for the GUI. So it's Alt W, not Control W. I knew it was W, damn it. Okay. Figured it out. Alt W. So we can go Alt W from the build screen, I think it is. Alt W. Alt W. Alt W. Why is it not working? a little bit frustrated. Dwarf mode, query building, some work job workflow, and overall status, workflow status. So you have to be in dwarf mode while querying a building, or you have to be in the overall status screen. Alt W. So query, that's this, alt w, z, alt w. Okay, I give up. I have to worry about it next video. <laughs> Sorry guys. Oh. I know I showed it off at the very beginning, didn't I? Like in the, in the very first video. Why is it not working? Control, is it control w? <laughs> I could have sworn it was something else. I know it's enabled because I just enabled it. Really bothers me when it doesn't work. It's not enabled. Maybe that's the problem. Workflow, enable. Didn't I already do that? Enabling the plugin, the plugin is enabled. See, it's on now. That's the macros interface. I don't know how to get rid of that now. No, get off my screen. Okay, I give up. I'm, I'm done. I'm not, I'm not going to mess with it anymore. I'll have to mess with it later. So let's just pretend like none of that ever happened. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. So, okay, we're back to playing. Why was I even doing that again? Workflow. That's right. I needed to make some more barrels. Let's just make some barrels. A, V, A, V, A, V, A, V, A, V. Okay, we'll make some barrels the slow way. And when I can figure out how to get that dumb workflow interface to open up, Alt W, damn. Then we'll play with it in another video. Well, we only have one guy idle. Nylon Coffee has become the manager. They're doing a good job storing all the beds and stuff as they get created. But I'm not going to do the next floor of stuff until it's all complete. See our, is anyone brewing? Put brew on repeat. This guy over here is brewing. 
He's ta taking some wild strawberries. He's making some strawberry wine. How nice. I wanna... Why is R trying to asso assign a, an owner? I want to take it off repeat. Okay, well, whatever. You know, I mean, that's that's fine. <laughs> oh, this this video is weird. No owner signed. I know. I know there's no owner signed. So if the game can be this clunky for me, then you know that it's clunky. See, R is supposed to be repeat. Profile? No. I don't get it. Is it oh, it's because of workflow. Workflow, disable. Now I can toggle. Okay. So workflow was enabled, but it, I can't pull up the graphic user interface. Workflow, enable. Okay. So this has been fun. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap this one up here, and uh, I, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Oh, it's terrible. Ooh, cat has adopted a blacksmith. So Moldath Nishriker, the cat, has adopted Netforce. That purring is really loud. Cat adopted you. You don't get to pick your cat. Your cat picks you. So dining room's good. Um, I do want to do this before I wrap it up. I'm gonna put a food stockpile right here. I'm gonna cancel the stockpile in the center. I don't like food to be on the stairs. I'm gonna go to the settings, go to food, and I'm gonna disable everything. And then I'm gonna just enable um, prepared prepared food right here by pressing U and drinks. So animal and plant drinks. That's it. All I want here is ready to go food, right next to the the actual place where they're going to store everything. At the same time, I'm going to go up here to this other stockpile because this holds a lot of the food stuffs. I'm going to go here to food and I'm going to disable prepared food and disable prepared uh, prepared drinks. So that way they'll keep all the ready to go stuff right by the dining room and all the pre pre prepared stuff over here. So, okay, we ran out of distillable items. Let's go ahead and designate some more plants to be gathered, like say over here, and a couple more trees as well. And hopefully that herbalist will collect enough plants to keep us drunk. We got 75 drinks, so we're doing okay. We got plenty of meat from that yak stuff, and I should probably build a kitchen as well. So we'll go pile X, we'll remove some of that. We'll make two kitchens. Build workshop kitchen, I think it's K? No. Nope. What is kitchen? It's Z, yeah, that makes sense. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this one up here. I'm gonna go see why I can't make workflow work, and uh, in the next video we'll get it going properly. Thanks for watching. See you soon.